So let's talk about system of units here. In real life, um, we say things like Eiffel Tower is long, or let's say we say the thumb is short. We can say the earth is heavy and feather is light. But in physics, these things won't really make much of a sense. So in physics, we actually need um, a quantitative measurement and that's why people have uh, introduced something uh, something which is called uh, system of units and the most basic units which we see or which are used in everyday life is the mass the length and the time and most of the um, physical units can be constructed using these three basic units which are mass length and time and to express these units there are two types of systems the first one is called the MKS system and the other system is called the CGS system in the MKS system mass is measured in kilograms length is measured in meters time is measured in seconds while in CGS system mass is measured in gram length is measured in centimeters and time is measured again in seconds and now you can relate these two units by simple conversion factors for example 1 kilogram equals 1000 grams while 1 meter equals 100 centimeter and the reason we have to these two different type of systems because MKS is a bigger unit uh, while CGS is a smaller unit we can clearly see that we need 1000 grams to express a kilogram so if you want to express let's say mass of a feather then it's always a good idea to express it in terms of grams instead of kilograms while let's say you want to express mass of earth then it's always a good idea to, to express it in terms of kilograms instead of grams and we can always go from one system of units to another system of units um, by using these convergent factors now most of the units in day-to-day -day life can be derived from these basic units so let's see how we can write uh, let so we, we have seen that the, the 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 unit for length is mass so what what is the uh, unit for let's say area or volume or density so all so the unit for these things like area volume or density can be derived using uh, these basic units so let's see how can we derive them uh, let's talk about area so how is area defined well area is defined as length into breadth so what is going to be the unit for area well we know that length is measured in meters we also know that breadth is measured in meters so the unit for area will be meter square you see m into m is meter square this is basic uh, this is just using exponential multiplying two two things and raising the exponential to two uh, let's talk about volume well we know that volume is defined as length multiplied by breadth multiplied by the height so we can see length is measured in meters breadth is measured in meters height is measured in meters so that tells that the unit for volume is meter cube how about force how can we derive the unit for force in terms of MKS unit? Well, 
we know that force is given by mass uh, let, well times acceleration now you might not have seen this but you do not have to worry this is just a formula but also we do not know the units for acceleration so first we have to derive units for acceleration well acceleration I'm sorry this is such a bad handwriting let's go back and fix this so acceleration is defined as change in velocity defined divided by change in time but before that we need to find the units for velocity how is velocity defined velocity is defined as change in um, displacement if you do not know these terms that's all right displacement divided by change in time well we know that well displacement is same as uh, is, is measured in meters it is almost same as distance uh, with some difference but we'll talk about that later but right now we know that displacement which is a uh, close brother of distance is measured in meters so if the displacement is measured in meters the change will also be measured in meters so it's going to be meters how about time well time is measured in seconds so the change in time is also measured in seconds so you can see that using the formula that velocity is defined by change in displacement divided by change in time we arrived to the units for velocity which is meters per second so you can use formula and always and always derive units for any physical quantity let's move on to acceleration well, acceleration as we have seen that is change in velocity divided by change in time now velocity we know is measured in meters per second so change in velocity will also be measured in meters per second divided by change in time which is also measured in seconds now using simple algebraic manipulation you can figure out this is nothing but meters per second square well we have units for acceleration also let's find out uh, units for force so for force well force is units for mass which is kilograms multiplied by units for acceleration which is meters per second square and this is nothing but kilograms meters per second square so this is the unit for force now this is well you see that there are so many words you have to write so people have shortened this and they collectively call this N which is short of Newton right okay let's take one more example let's take work well you will see that work is defined as force multiplied by displacement if you do not know that's all right but right now just accept it well we already have seen that force is defined as Newton and displacement is de defined as meter so the unit for work is Newton meter how about power well, power is defined as work divided by time so unit for power is Newton meter divided by second well people have shortened this also and this is 
also called collectively as W or Watts. James on the name of James Watt, the guy who invented the steam engine. So we have seen that there are basically two set of unit systems, the MKS and the CGS. Uh, we know how uh, how are they related using these conversion factors. Also, we learned that using these simple formulas, we can derive uh, units for complex physical quantities. Let's derive a few more. Let's, let's try to derive units for pressure. Well, pressure is defined as force divided by area, which is well, we already have seen that force is Newton, is expressed in Newtons, and area we already have seen is expressed in meter square. So the force, uh, so the unit for pressure is Newton per meter square, and this collectively is called as PA or Pascal. On the name of its way, the Pascal is the name of the mathematician Blaise Pascal. Um, we have other examples. Let's see. Uh, pressure. Well, this is good for now. So, we can see that um, we can derive units of difficult physical units using uh, the formulas that relate them to lower units. But you do not, you do not have to worry about these formulas. We'll suddenly learn about them. The same thing which we did for MKS system, as you can clearly see, we used meters, kilograms, and seconds. The same thing can be done for the CGS units. So, let's see. Velocity. Let's see how velocity is expressed in CGS units. Well, we know that velocity is displacement divided by time. Well, what is the CGS unit for displacement? Well, it, it was meters for MKS unit. For CGS, it's centimeter. How about time? It's second. Let's go on to acceleration. Well, acceleration is actually change in. I'm sorry, I wrote displacement here. It was actually change in displacement divided by change in time. So this is actually change. Delta is used to express the change. So acceleration is change in velocity divided by the change in time. How well the velocity is measured in centimeters per second, so change in velocity is measured in centimeters per second divided by seconds and that gives us centimeters per second square. How about force? We are, we are just repeating the same thing again, but it's all right. Force is mass times um, acceleration, and mass is measured in grams times acceleration. We just saw is measured in second square, so this is gram centimeter per second square. And this whole thing collectively is called uh, dyne, D-Y-N-E. I don't know how, how this name comes up, but this is dyne. And similarly, um, you have other units. So let's talk about force. Well, force is measured in... Um, Newton in the MKS unit and is measured in time in the CGS unit. Well, we know how to go how to convert a centimeter to a meter or a gram to a kilogram, but we do not know how to convert a Newton to a to a dime. So let's see. Well, what is Newton? Newton is kilogram. Uh, meters per second square while 
dyne is uh, gram centimeter per second square. Now how to go I find the conversion factor from Newton to dyne and we can simply do this by replacing things. For example, we can write kilogram as thousand grams. Similarly, we can write so similarly we can write meters as hundred centimeters. But nothing will happen with the time, so it stays centimeters squared. And this is what? One zero 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 gram centimeter over second square which is same as one zero 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 nine so we started from here which is Newton and we ended up here which is dying so you can clearly see that one Newton is 10 raised to the power 5 So it's not difficult. Um, so whenever you have to change uh, units, just replace the quantities the way we replaced uh, here. Now you, I, I did not really cover all the unit system. You may have a unit system in, like in America, we measure things in feet and uh, um, ounces and so on. So you may have other types of problem um, to express units uh, but the principle stays the same so that that's that's the most you will ever need to know uh, to solve problems uh, regarding system of units okay right bye bye